I, again, tried to remove myself from the situation, um, but to no avail, as I, I, I literally, the house that they had rented for me in Australia was quite a large place. It was quite a bit of a labyrinth, you know, and a lot of rooms, a lot of extra rooms. So I would go to, well, I'll, I'll just cut to the chase. I, I think that I ended up locking myself in about at, le at least nine bedrooms, bathrooms that day um, as she was banging on the doors and screaming obscenities and wanting to uh, have a physical altercation. So how did it come to be that your finger became injured? There was at one point where I'd, I'd stayed in one of the, you know, I'm sitting on a bathroom floor, door locked, she's banging away, banging away, screaming, blah, 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 and then suddenly she stopped and I could hear her walk away. I could hear her sort of receding into the distance, if you will, and, I, 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 you know, yes, I, so, 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 yes, it became very emotional because I, you can't win for losing. There was nothing I could do to, to make her understand that I had, if that lawyer had in fact done that, and I did call my lawyer uh, at the time, Jake Bloom, and I had him get these people on the phone. And I, uh, I'm ashamed to say that I had taken, at that point when, we were, when I was on the phone with him, I had taken Ms. Hurd's words to heart. And um, and I laid out a ration of of um, very uh, uh, I was very upset that she was pushed to that limit because I had believed it um, and uh, in fact none of it had happened so. Uh, It was all getting too crazy. And again, I had been sober for many, many months from alcohol and substances, aside from the marijuana. Um, and I got, I left the place, the, the room that I was hiding in, or not hiding, locked myself into. And I went downstairs in the house there was, and downstairs in the house, as soon as you walk in the house, you can go upstairs or downstairs. And downstairs there was a sort of a rec, rec area, pool table and such, and, uh, and there was a uh, bar. And uh, I, was, uh, um, I was a mess, I was a wreck, I was shaking and I just didn't understand why all this was happening. So I went behind the bar, I grabbed a bottle of vodka that was there and a shot glass and sat at the bar. She was nowhere around. And I poured myself two or three stiff shots of, uh, of the vodka, first taste of alcohol I'd had in a long time. And um, then she came down to the bar and found me there. And of course started screaming, oh, you're drinking again, eh? the monster and all that. Um, so she reached, she, she, she walked up to me and reached and grabbed the, the bottle of vodka. And then just uh, kind of stood back and then hurled it at me. And and it it uh, it just went <laughs> right past my head and smashed behind me. Uh, 
So I stood up and I walked behind the bar and there was a larger bottle of vodka, the kind with the handle, you know, on it. I grabbed that and I went and I sat in my seat again. I opened the bottle and I poured myself a shot and drank it. Ms. Heard was flinging insults uh, left, right, and center, and she then grabbed that bottle and, uh, and threw that at me. Um, and the way that the, the way that the bar was sit situated and w w where Miss Herb was, so if, 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 if I could show you, so if, if this is the bar where the glass was and the bottles, if this was the bar and I'm sitting here like this, she would grab the bottle and she would go there, she went there. And so I was leaning like this in the chair, looking at her. First bottle went, then got the other bottle shot. Takes the second bottle, which is the larger one. I'm in this position again, and my my hand is on the edge of the the bar, like like that, you know, leaning over the fingers like that and uh, she threw the large bottle and it made contact and shattered uh, everywhere and I, I honestly didn't I didn't feel the pain at first at all I felt no pain whatsoever what I felt was um, I felt heat I felt heat and I felt um, as if something were dripping down my hand, you know. Um, and then I looked down and realized that the, the, the tip of my finger had been severed. And uh, I was looking directly at my bones sticking out and uh, the 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 meaty portion of your the inside of your finger the um, and it was it, blood was just uh, pouring out and at that point I I I, I think that I went into some sort of, I, I don't know what a nervous breakdown feels like, but that's probably the closest that I've ever been. I didn't, nothing made sense. And I knew in my mind and in my heart, this is, this is not life. This is not life. <laughs> No one should have to go through this. And, and as I said, this, this feeling of nervous, being in, a, in the middle of some sort of nervous breakdown, I started to write with my blood, in my own blood, on the, on the walls. Um, little reminders from our past that essentially represented lies that she had told me and lies that I had caught her in. Um, and, uh, and then, and then just, the next thing, uh, you know, I, amongst all the madness, I, 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 I would again hide in the uh, bathroom or wherever, and I texted Dr. Kipper and I said, you might want to come over, uh, you know, I've cut my finger off here. 
Which finger was was cut, Mr. Depp? Um, it's the the middle. It's the funny looking one. <laughs> it's the middle finger. Here you can see the. Well, you can see all the, the sort of. The, the, from the initial wound, this, this, all these bones up here were crushed, and it looked like a, it looked like Vesuvius, you know, and um, so this, this, this part of my finger now is so that because of not having use of the tip here, uh, this is um. Basically, uh, arthritis that kicks into the joint once that once that uh, upper part of the finger is mangled. So is that the right middle finger? Right middle, yes. And is that your dominant hand? Uh, yes, it is. Yes. Mr. Depp, after Miss Heard threw the vodka bottle at you and severed your finger, um, what if anything did she say? when she saw the injury? I don't recall anything, but just, uh, it was almost like white noise, or just someone yelling, or just a, it was just a high-pitched, constant um, attack of, of insults of, it was just jumbled words to me in a, in a very high frequency, and I I, I I I was in a bit of shock, you know. I was in shock. <laughs> you mentioned that you reached out to Dr. Kipper. Did you receive medical attention after that? Yes, um, uh, Jerry Judge, Malcolm Connolly. I believe Debbie Lloyd was there. Yes, Debbie Lloyd was there. Um, ben King had arrived as well. Who is Ben King? Uh, ben King uh, was, he, he's, he's essentially, he's a house, so, so, sort of a, an estate manager. And he, I had, we'd worked together in London a, a few times and uh, uh, he's a wonderful guy. So I brought, brought, uh, ben along to Australia to, to manage everything. He's very, he's very, very good and very nice. Um, and then there was also a, oh, yeah, I mentioned Malcolm and Jerry. Yeah, they were there as well. Which, if any, of the medical professionals that you saw that day, did you tell what happened to your finger? I, when Malcolm and um, Dr. Kipp, when, when they took me to, first, first we went to Malcolm's uh, uh, apartment where he was staying while we were shooting the film uh, and tried to clean uh, my hand because I had worked the day before and um, obviously when you're playing uh, pirate Captain Jack or whatever they you're you're covered you they paint with on with alcohol um, with rubbing alcohol they paint dirt all into your hands and into your face and everything so they were they were worried about getting my finger clean, so they tried doing that at Malcolm's, and then Kipper said, no, "We've got to get to emergency room, and we've got to get hold of the tip of his finger." So we went to the emergency room. Um, the doctor asked me what happened, <clears throat> and uh, I lied to him. I said that I had uh, smashed it. In, um, in, in these large accordion doors that it got caught in the accordion doors. Why would um, you lie about that? I lied because I, I did not, I didn't feel, I, I didn't want to disclose that it was, I, 
what it was. I, I didn't want to disclose that it had been. I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to disclose that it had been misheard. That it had thrown the thrown a vodka bottle at my at me and then took my finger off. I didn't want to get her in trouble. I didn't want to. I I tried to uh, just keep things as copacetic and as as easy as possible for everyone. I, I did I did not want to put her name in that in that mix. Did you tell Dr. Kipper what had actually we're continuing to watch the Johnny Depp defamation trial here. We're going to go to a quick two-minute break here for some of you as Johnny Depp is talking about when he had to go to the emergency room after uh, what he says Amber Heard uh, throwing a bottle of vodka and then smashing right by his finger. You're watching live now from Fox. No, where was Ms. Heard during this time? Um, Ms. Heard uh, was... I wasn't there, but I, I had. A, it was clear that she had to. Uh, she needed to leave, and uh, I'd asked them to get her on a flight from Melbourne or Sydney or wherever back to Los Angeles. Why did you ask for that? I. I didn't want to see her. I, I didn't. I didn't want to see her. I didn't want to have any more arguments. I was, uh, for all intents and purposes, I was just done. <laughs> 